Hi everyone, my name is Nuria and this is my student journey. And for today's video, we got invited to a wedding and I'm going to be making two outfits, one suit for Owen and a dress for myself. This time I started this journey one month in advance because I know myself and if I don't plan ahead, I end up sewing until two minutes before the wedding. Now, planning ahead doesn't mean that this is not going to happen, but at least I tried. We started from the end and the first thing we did was buying the fabric. We didn't have the design, we didn't have the pattern, we didn't have any ideas of what we wanted, but we didn't have many weekends before the wedding. So what we did was get into a train and get to Tilburg, a city in the south of the Netherlands, where there's a very nice fabric store that is specialized on wedding things apart from all the other fabrics that you can find and on the way there we tried looking at different designs of what we wanted mostly for the suit because for the dress i know if i have a problem i have other fabric stores that i can go to around my neighborhood and one thing is deciding what you would like to have and the other thing is what they have at the fabric store we got there and I was completely overwhelmed by the amount of fabrics that they had. This happens to me every single time I go to a fabric store right away. Owen, on the other hand, loved it. He was like two hours looking at fabrics here and there and what can I mix, what can I put together, do I like this, do I like that? So he was in this loop of what do you think about this fabric, what do you think about this other fabric? So we would never get out of the loop until this guy that was working on the fabric store helped us decide on which fabric we were gonna get. And for the dress, I wanted to go for silk, but it was completely out of my budget, of course. So we ended up going for a very simple fabric that they had. It was kind of cheap. <laughs> the final amount. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> if we forget about how much we spent on the fabric, we got for Owen's suit, he wants pants, waistcoat and a blazer. And for my dress, I just want a dress. Not much to ask. For the blazer and the trousers, we got this dark brown type of wool fabric that has kind of some stripes on the pattern. They are not really visible, but you can see it in person. And then for the lining, he chose a very difficult fabric to work with that is a viscose polyester thing and it has weird patterns all over. He wanted to go all funky and because the main fabric was kind of old style, then he wanted to go super young style on the lining. Then for the waistcoat, he chose a lighter brown that has stripes going vertically and horizontally. And then for the lining, he chose a normal thing, which I appreciated. And apart from that, of course, we got some fusible interfacing in black. And we also got some, I think it's called horsehair. It's a type of fabric that goes in between the blazer. So it gives it structure. For my dress, on the other hand, we got this lycra type of fabric, polyester, that is red and with a lot of flowers, which reminds me of a kimono style. And with that, we went back home. The first thing we did was taking the measurements. This was already a whole story in itself because for girls, normally the waist is measured on the natural waist. But for guys, if they want their pants, it's on the lower waist, let's call it, and not the natural waist. So it's a mess. Waste. What does that mean? Your bump is bigger than the normal average. Is it? Yeah. Hold it there. Are you comfortable? Super. After taking the measurements, I started drafting the first prototype of the pants pattern. I used a YouTube video that I have used in the past before and it really worked for me but this time it did not work that well. It's that time of the year when it starts getting dark really early and then you just wanna be home and watch a movie. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch Return to Halloween Town while well, I cut this pattern and I put it together for the prototype, but I think it's going to be wrong. So I'm, I'm not looking forward to this, but yeah, you can watch me watch a movie while I do this. The king of the house got home. <laughs> so we're gonna try the prototype. Oh, don't lose needle. I'm not losing anything, well, just trust me. The problem is that there's too much room under the butt and that means that there is a flat seat and what I have to do is reduce the 
you know this here is too long and what I have to do is reduce it at 1.5 centimeters give or take and I'll go centimeter by centimeter and see if it needs more or less because I don't want to mess it up take two we did the modifications for the flat seat and now it's too tight so we can see that this is better and there are still some things here can you see these lines here I don't know if they can be fixed but yeah apart from that I think it's pretty okay he says it's too tight on the crutch so I reduced 1.5 centimeters so I'm just going to add 0.5 centimeters you think that would be enough yeah According yeah. to my calculations, yeah. yeah. I thought about it again and it's not fine. So what I did was go back to YouTube and find out what was wrong with the pants. And now I think Owen here, he sit there, has prominent cuffs. They're just huge cuffs. Then I don't know why those have an effect on the butt here. So what I did is just make the corrections for the butt and see if it works. I'm doing another prototype and from there, we'll see. Once and for all, we're gonna know if Owen has huge calves or not. Did we fix it? How does it look? I don't know. <laughs> and you are 100% sure that these are good? Yeah. They're comfy everywhere. There's a lot of fabric here though. I don't know, give me, give me feedback. If it sits here, it's better. There's too much fabric here on the inside of the leg. And at the back, we can see that there's a lot of fabric, extra fabric here. In the pattern, I marked the knee a little bit lower than I was supposed to. So the knee is here and I think I marked it around here. And otherwise, that's the last prototype because I'll run out of fabric. After all these changes, I was completely overwhelmed. I didn't know what I did, what I didn't do. So I decided to get another book and start all over again. I have to say this looks better. The only thing that I'm worried about is the waistband because this pattern is drawn on the natural waist and Owen wants the pants to go on his hip bone. So we're going to see and we're going to deal with that later. I'm gonna go into the last prototype. I'm going to take two centimeters from the seams of the sides and then inseam. I'm going to take four centimeters here. So instead of a high waist is a normal waist. And we're gonna try it again. This one better be the last one. Absolutely perfect. You're lying to me. No. Are you? No. Why would I be lying? Because you're, you you're on the verge of an emotional breakdown? No. <laughs> it gives you a better ass than the last ones. I'm very happy with them. Oh. Cut into the fabric! Go, 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 go. It's not 100%. The ass could be a bit no, juicier. No, it's really good. It's really good here. But I think it's it's better if you I, don't it's show that easier, much ass. It's easier if I grow my ass. <laughs> so I cut into the fabric. Go! <laughs> I tried on the new prototype and I thought it was perfect and I was really happy but then I asked Owen to sit down and I saw that the pattern really went down when he was sitting and that made me go into the last prototype. I'm gonna create a new prototype with everything, with the waistband this time, with the fly, with everything. So I'm just going to treat it as a practice before the real deal. And before doing that, I'm going to draft the waistcoat pattern. I made one last prototype and this time it has pockets on the side and pockets at the back and zipper and the waistband. So let's see if it fits him, please. Three, two, one. Ta -da! Sitting down is good. I think the bump is good. Last prototype successful. Successful. This last prototype finally was successful. So I got the go and cut into the fabric. At the same time though, I started drafting the pattern for the waistcoat because I was a bit afraid I was gonna run out of time. I made a bit of a prototype of the vest. I didn't finish it fully because Owen wants to go to sleep and I want to try this prototype on him before he goes to sleep. So we're gonna do that and cross our fingers that we don't have to do it again. It's too short, huh? It also doesn't help that you're wearing a- Huge shirt. <laughs> yeah. It looks like there's gonna be a second prototype. <laughs> some changes we're going to do this here. So we're going to take some fabric on the shoulder. Then we have all this fabric here. And then this armhole here has a lot of extra fabric. And I'm also going to double the darts 
on both sides and double the dart at the front just making it smaller basically i'm about to cut the fabric and i'm hesitant if i should do it or not because i did something i'm 95 percent sure that it's wrong but at the same time i did it the other way i know that the pen should be cut on the green line and the green line is this way but the most stretch is also on the green line so I want that stretch to be on the horizontal of my pens and then I didn't cut them on the grain line so the trousers are like this instead of like this I don't know if I should continue with that it's completely the opposite you should always cut your trousers so the grain line goes vertically with the pens so that stretch doesn't modify your garment as you wear it So we have the feet here, the only thing I'm going to take one centimeter here at the back before putting the waistband and then I don't like that these pockets get open, I don't know why that happens, I guess that this is supposed to fall a bit more. The last things I'm going to do, but I think it's going to be tomorrow, is <laughs> adjusting the length of the trousers and doing the hem at the bottom and today I'm going to finish the waistband and that's it. One thing we forgot about when we bought the fabric was to buy the buttons so I asked him if he could decide for his button he chose a very good one which we never got to put on the trousers <laughs> but the button was pretty at this point we're one week away from the wedding we don't have the trousers finished because we're missing some things we don't have a waistcoat we don't have a blazer and we don't have a dress. I think about this time I decided not to go for the blazer and just try and finish as many things as I could. But again, I work full time and I do not have time at all to do anything. So one week is nothing for me. Will I make it? You'll have to find out next week because otherwise this video is going to be the longest video in the world. So don't forget to subscribe and notifications on for next week. Bye!